Hello, hello, guys. Can you hear me? Do you hear me, guys? Hello? Hello? Hey there, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello, can you teacher. Hear me? Can Hello, you hear me? Teacher. Yes. Hello, Yes. Your baby there saying hello too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, well, thank you very much, guys, for being always on time. Appreciate the fact that you're here. I know that it's raining. Probablemente está lloviendo en todo el país. And I understand that in this weather, quisiéramos estar durmiendo, ¿verdad? I completely understand that. But I appreciate the fact that you here. We are here another week and uh, we're going to try to learn today. Okay. So um, as usual, before we start the class, I would like to know how much do you remember? Oh, todos me escuchan, me escuchan bien o también se escucha <coughs> Se escucha cortado. Really? That, that's probably my internet connection. Okay, let me see. Let me try to check that. It's probably my, my connection to internet. You know, it's raining and uh, that's probably why. It's probably because of the rain. Okay, but if sometimes or you do not listen to me just let me know so uh, so i can know that you cannot listen to me okay perfect so uh what do you guys remember about the last class we had what can you guys tell me about the last class what was the last class about Who can tell me? Guys, hello. What was the last class about? Routines. I know the conversation. It was about routines. Yes, it, it was about daily routines. So, uh, Regarding to that, let me ask you some questions so I can I can verify that you know how to say so. Uh, <coughs> let me see. I can listen to a motorcycle there or something like that. Can you guys please try to uh, turn your microphones off? Can you please turn your microphones off? Si sí, pueden apagar sus micrófonos, por favor, se escucha como interferencia, like interference there. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see. I will ask you questions right now according to the vocabulary that we saw last, last time. Let me see. Uh, Sophia, Stephanie, how do we say doblar la ropa? How do we say that? Hang the clothes. Say that again. I don't remember. Aha. Jose Alberto, how do we say uh, lavarse los dientes o cepillarse los dientes? I cannot listen to you. You have. Um, wash my teeth. Wash the teeth. Fish. Uh, do mm -hmm. we, that's, is that the way we say it? Así lo decimos en inglés. Brush. Brush the teeth. Brush the okay, teeth. very good. Okay. 
Now, let me see. Uh, how do we say vestirse, Sulma? Aha. Get dressed. Yeah, that's the way we say it. How do we say uh, regar las plantas, Rosa Melia? Clean the house, do the dishes, cook the Reg rice, clean the wind, the water the plants. Water the plants, very good. How do we say? Uh, let me see. Uh, planchar la ropa, Rina Margarita. How do we say that? Planchar la ropa. Sería iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Very good. Thank you very much. Let me see. How do we say? Uh, Let me see. Sacar la basura. How do we say that, Saul Gutierrez? Sacar la basura. How do we say that? Of, of the trash. Say that again. Of the trash. Well, not really. But okay, how do we say trapear, Denise? How do we say that? Trapear el piso. Mm, I don't know. You don't know. How do we say uh, cortar la grama, Griselda Angélica? Um, I know, teacher, se, se me fue, se me escapó. <laughs> Aha, okay. Let me see. Um, how do we say lavar los trastes, Vanessa Gabriela? Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes, okay, very good. How do we say navegar por el internet? That question is for you in general, for everyone. How do we say navegar el internet? Surf the net. Surf the net, very good. So uh, there was a lot of vocabulary on, on, on Thursday and today. Today's class, it's also going to be about vocabulary. But today's vocabulary is going to be about house. So about the house. So today we're going to learn different parts of the house and different things that we can learn when it comes to vocabulary, okay? So let me share with you the screen so you can all see what I'm talking about. And let me see, can you all see it? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So as you can see today, we have vocabulary about house and places. When I say about house is because we are going to learn how we say different parts of the house in English. And when I'm talking about places is because in the same house, we have different locations or places, okay? So today we're going to learn that. So let me just try to check. Okay, so I will need a volunteer that would like to help me with this part. Sophia, Stephanie, thank you very much. Okay, a uh, house is a building where you meet live alone or alone. Or it's clothed be a multi-family house that you share with other families. Thank you very much. It says that a house is a building where you might live alone or be a multi-family house. 
that you share with other families. Now, let me ask you, is there any word of the vocabulary or any word that you do not understand from this part? Hay alguna palabra que no entendamos? Building. My, my lead. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Jose Alberto, what you said? Building, creo que. Building, no edificio. Building, edificio. Building. Might live significa podrías vivir. Might live, los dos juntos, podrías vivir. Okay, so, basically. Alone, alone? Alone, solo. Solo. Alone. Any other word? Alguna otra palabra? Oh, it's, it's understandable. Share. 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 El verbo compartir. That you share, que compartes con otras familias. Okay, so basically this is just a definition a definition of what a house is, a general definition of what a house is. So today, as the topic said, we are going to learn different parts of the house, okay? So let's see. Another important part is that to understand what an apartment is. Apartamento. So I will need two people, dos personas to help me with to read this. Volunteers, voluntarios. I. Who is I? Denise. Denise, go ahead. Help me to read till the period. Hasta el punto, the period, okay? Let's go. What is an apartment? The term apartment can be gener generical uh -huh. apply to any residential unit inside a building. Okay, an apartment, it says that the term apartment can be generically applied to any residential unit inside a building. Jose Alberto, go ahead, please. The building can be a house, stone house or residential building and even condominium high rise where of ours so that their units. Okay. So it says that the building can be a house, townhouse, large residential building, and even condominium high rise where the owners sublet their units. Now, my question, do you guys understand all the words that we have there or is there any question about any word? Genericamente, generically. Apply. Aplicados. Townhouse. Townhouse, son las casas de los... Townhouse, casas... High, high rise. High rise, condominio high rise, son los condominios de dos, terceras, cuartas plantas. Owners. Owners, propietarios. Soblet. ¿Cómo se pronunciaba esa siguiente? Sublet eh, es como que son propietarios eh, de su propio apartamento. Como sublet es como, how do we say that in Spanish? Eh, dueño. It's like, es como un dueño, como que tú tienes tu, uh, like, uh, how do we say that? Como tu, tu cosa de, de un papel. How do we say that in Spanish? Escritura. Contrato. Escritura. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So if there's no more questions, so let's let's go ahead and, and start with the part of the vocabulary. Okay. In the house, we have different parts. Tenemos diferentes partes. Different parts of the house. 
So the first part, la sala, we say it living room. Living room, sala, bedroom, dormitorios. Okay, so let's move on. We have uh, the dining room, okay, which is the comedor, bathroom, que es el baño, but I want to tell you something. La mayoría de veces, or when we were at school, cuando estábamos en la escuela, nos enseñaron que si queríamos ir al baño, teníamos que decir cómo. May I go to the, to the bathroom, ¿sí? Pero en inglés existen dos diferencias. Si, si usted quiere ir al baño solamente hacer sus necesidades, decimos rest room. Porque si usted dice baño, automáticamente alguien va a pensar que usted se va a duchar y también va a hacer sus necesidades. Esa es la diferencia. Un bathroom es aquel que tiene ducha y baño al mismo tiempo. Un restroom es solo aquel donde solo está un baño, solo necesidades fisiológicas. I don't know if you understand the difference. ¿Sí entendemos la diferencia? Yes, teacher. So, yes. for the next okay. time, para la próxima vez, when you want to go, cuando quieran ir al baño, do not say, can I go to the bathroom, no? You have to say, hey, can I go to the restroom? Puedo ir al baño. Because if you're saying to the bathroom, si usted dice, can I go to the bathroom? Yo voy a pensar que usted va a ir, se va a bañar y hasta después va a salir. Okay? No. So, may I go to the restroom? That's the word. Esa es la palabra que vamos a empezar a usar. Okay? So, let's, let's move on. You see, so what else do we have in the house? Um, the hall, hall, this is the hall. What's the hall? The hall is como una, una, una pared, una, una pared que está ahí, just to, solo para mantener algo, una pared X, that's a hall, okay? Hall, garage, what's the garage? The garage es lo que nosotros le llamamos el garaje o... El lugar donde guardamos our cars, okay? So we have the attic. The attic is the lático. And the kitchen, obviously, is la cocina, okay? So let's see. Also, guys, another thing very important. In English, we can also say toilet, but when we say toilet, cuando decimos toilet, Significa también baño, pero a esto nos referimos a él, a la cosita esa blanca. Eso es un toilet, ¿ok? El aparato en sí. That's a toilet, ¿ok? So that's the difference between bathroom, restroom, and toilet, ¿ok? So what's bathroom? Bathroom is a place where you take a shower and you make your physical necessities. A restroom is a place where you only do your physical necessities. And a toilet is just the thing. Just the, the, the white thing, okay? So, on, we have the stairs. The stairs are las gradas. Stairs, okay? Stairs. And the garden. Garden, that's that part of Okay, so with the information I that I just said, is there any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento, or are we clear? Well, silence has more than a thousand words, so I, I will take that as clear. Clear. Y recepcionando la vez. Okay, so. Uh, this part, we call it patio, okay? No le llamamos patio. Patio, we say it in Spanish, but in English, en inglés le damos un acento diferente. So we say patio. Patio, okay? Patio, es el patio. The basement, 
the basement is something that, that we don't we don't have in El Salvador. Houses in El Salvador do not have basement. Some of them have, but some others don't. A basement is el sótano. In El Salvador, not all houses have sótano, but probably some of them have. So uh, let's move on with that. And we have the corridor. Corridor es el corredor, a lo que nosotros llamamos corredor. We say corridor. We just give it a, a, a different accent. Le damos un acento diferente. We say corridor. Okay. So here we have uh, like a drawing, como un dibujo of the main parts of the house, de algunas partes de la casa que no fueron mencionadas antes. For example, how do we say techo? We say roof. Roof. Okay, roof. That's how we say techo. Chimney. Chimney. Chimenea. Chimney. Window. Esta creo que todos la sabemos. ¿verdad? Window. That's ventanas. Door. Puerta. Porch. Es eh, como la entrada, el porche, la, como when a house, cuando una casa tiene como una media entradita afuera, so we call it porch. Uh, curtain, curtain, we call it cortinas, and balcony es el balcón. So uh, let me see, I would like to listen to some people make the pronunciation of these words. So I would like any volunteer, algún voluntario that would like to make the pronunciation of those words. Sofia, thank you very much. Go ahead, Sofia. Curtain, curtains, curtains. Curtains. Uh -huh. Okay. Balcony, roof, balcony. windows, mm -hmm. balcony. Roof. Roof. Uh -huh. Windows. Uh -huh. Porch. Door and chimney. Chimney. Oh, chimney. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Nos vamos a elegir porque si no los elegimos, los demás no participan. So Marvin, let's see. Marvin, go ahead. <laughs> Hello. Roof. Uh-huh. Balcony, curtains, door, porch, windows, uh, chimney. Chimney, very good. Jocelyn and Stephanie, I would like to listen to you. Let's go. Balcony, porch, curtain, door, porch, windows, chimney. What, what, how, repeat this again, please. Repeat it again. Roof. At chimney. Okay, very good. Rina Margarita. Thank you very much. Let's go. Roof. Chimney. Porch. Windows. Door. Portain. Balcony. Okay, very good. Let me see. Uh, I saw Yvette. It is Yvette. Let's go. Roof, chimney, 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 no. chimney, chimney, uh -huh. window, windows, porch, door, curtains, balcony, roof. Balcony. Thank you very much, Vanessa Gabriela. Chimney, roof, window, porch, door, balcony, and curtain. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, thank you for your participation. Remember that if you participate, si participan, that's also take part, takes part on the, I mean, the participation is always taken into consideration. La participación siempre se toma en consideración to verify who is always participating and things like that. And remember, if you participate, that's also going to help you 
to improve your pronunciation, okay? If you always participate and you say something wrong, si usted participa y dice algo mal, so I can verify that you are not pronouncing correctly so I can help you to improve, okay? So the ones that always participate, los que siempre participan, thank you very much for that, okay? Sure. Yes. Uh, uh, la pronunciación de eh, cortins, así es, o cortins, o cortina. Es this one, you mean? This one? Yes. Curtains. Yes. Curtains. Curtains. No decimos curtains, no. Curtains. Cor cor okay. Curtains. Yeah, that's the way we say it. Thanks for asking. Now, Habíamos visto las partes de la casa. Ahora nos vamos a ir en cada parte de la casa que ya vimos. Tenemos diferentes cosas en cada parte. So, ¿qué dijimos que era la living room? What's the living room? Sala. Sala. Ok, so in the... Sala. We have the sofa. No le decimos sofá, como en Spanish. We say sofá, ¿ok? Sofá, we have the coffee table, we have the bookshelf, and we have the armchair. Armchair, bookshelf, sofá, and coffee table. So now, uh, Carla, would you be so kind and help me to make the pronunciation of all of them, please? And coffee table, sofa, mm -hmm. um, armchair, uh -huh. bookshelf. Thank you very much, Carla. So this one, we did not say chair. We say chair, okay? Armchair. Armchair. Yeah, thank you. Bookshelf, sofa, and coffee table. Let me see, Jocelyn and Stephanie, would you like to help me read in this, these ones, please? Sofa, coffee table, uh -huh. shall be ours here. Thank you very much. Now, let's move on to the next part. S always in the living room, in the living room, we can have a TV or television. We can have a telephone. We can have a shelf. We can also have a DVD player and we can have a cabinet. TV, telephone, shelf, DVD player, and cabinet. Iris Yvette, go ahead and make the pronunciation, please. Living room, Tele telephone, TV, shelf, DVD players, and cabinet. Rosa Melida, go ahead. Living room, cabinet, DVD player, TV, television, telephone, shelf. Thank you very much. All right. Now, let's move on. And in the living room, we can also have a carpet and cautions. Cautions. How do, cautions no son los mismos que una almohada. Cautions es lo que nosotros le llamamos, um, how do you say that? Cojín. Cojín, thank you very much. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for, yeah. Cojín and um, pillow, pillow and cojín, so we are different things. So remember, a cushion is un cojín and a pillow is una eh, almohada, okay? So that's very different. Carpet and cushion. So we're talking still about the living room. Now let's move on to the bathroom. In the bathroom, we have different things. We have bed, we have the night table, we have the wardrobe, we have the computer, we have desk, and we can also have toys. Now, Sulma, go ahead and make the pronunciation of them, please. The bedroom, um, bed, night table, um, computer, desk, 
toy and warp everything. <laughs> Oh, we say ward row. Ward, ward row. row. Okay. Row. Now, let me see. Uh, me listen to someone else. Marce Hernandez, go ahead. Help me read in this part, please. Uh, Beat, night table, computer, desk, toys, and war wardrobe. Ward row. Wardrobe. Ward. Perfect. Now, let's move on to the next part. We're still talking about the bedroom. And here, aquí en el bedroom, si tenemos pillow, books, CD player, lamp. We also have the chest, chest of drawers, chest of drawers, and we can also have a video game. Yes. Saul Gutierrez, go ahead and make the pronunciation of them, please. Bedroom, pillow, book, CD player, lamp, video games, cheese of drawer. Can you repeat this again? Lamp. 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 Can you repeat this again, please? Chest of drawer. We say chest, chest of drawers. Chest of drawer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me see Grisel Angelica. Can you repeat the same words, please? Books, CD player, chest of drawers, video games, lamp, books. Thank you very much. And the last one, Monica Lue. Bedroom, uh, pillow, books, CD players, lamps, sheets of straw, video games. Okay, so remember, uh, esta palabra de acá no la decimos drawers, we say drawers. Draw drawers. Okay, sheets of drawers. Thank you very much. Now, Let's move on to another part, which is the dining room. El, uh, how do we say dining room? Es como el comedor, that's the dining room. So we can have a table, we can have a fireplace, we can have a base, we can have painted, we can have picture, we can have chairs. And we can also have a lamp that to this type of things, a este tipo de lámparas, como la que se ve en la fotografía, we can also, también les llamamos chandeliers. Como la canción, ¿verdad? Chandelier. Que es un, uh, I don't know how to say that in, in Spanish. Candelabro. Candelabro, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the word, candelabro. Yeah, so um, we can have a table once again, chairs, lamp or a chandelier, picture, painting, and a base. Let me see, I would like to have any volunteer right now that would like to help me read those words. Uh, Carla, go ahead, thank you. Dining room. Table, base, painting, picture, uh, chan, mm, chan, chan, oh, chandela. So, no, that's something, uh, my bad there. Let me see, let me, I didn't write that correctly, so let me write that down. It's chandelier, like that, okay? Okay. Repeat it again, please. Uh, first place, chairs. Uh, fireplace. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, fireplace. Uh, chandel, chandelier, lamp. Chandelier, lamp. Chandelier. Uh -huh. Very good, thank you, Carla. Sulma. 
uh, dining room and table, base, fireplace, painting, picture, a chair, chandelier, and or lamp. Thank you very much, Jose Alberto. Uh, we we cannot listen to you, Jose Alberto. Your microphone is off. Table, fireplace, chairs, face, painting, picture, chandelier, lamp. Chandelier, okay, very good. Uh, Vanessa. Table, face, painting, picture, fireplace, shades, chandelier. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I still listen. Siempre escucho que algunos de ustedes me están pronunciando esta palabra como chairs. In English, we do not say chairs. We say chairs. Lo pronunciamos como es que si yo estuviera diciendo algo como eso. Chairs. Chairs. Okay, we do not say chairs. Okay, chairs. Okay. For next time, pay attention to that so we can, we don't have any, any problem in pronunciation. So let's move on to the next part and let's see what else we have. Now we're going to go to the bathroom and in the bathroom, we can have a toilet, which I told you que el toilet es solo la cosita blanca, esto, right? Toilet, vide, a vide, uh, we don't have those things in El Salvador. En El Salvador no contamos con esas cosas. O probablemente si hay en algunos. I have never seen anyone. Nunca he visto alguno en El Salvador. But probably there. There is in some place. Shower. Shower is the place where you take a shower. La ducha. Mirror. The espejo. The uh, wash basin. Wash basin is este tipo de... Eh, the lavamanos and the bathtub or bath que le llamamos a este tipo de como la ducha para tomar como la tina. Okay, so we have the toilet, vide, mirror, shower, wash basin, and the bath. Is there anyone that would like to help me pronunciate in these words? Volunteer. Uh, Iris, go ahead, Iris, and after that we go with uh, Rina, and I don't know if Carla, okay, no, Carla, no, okay. So Iris and Rina, but first we go with Iris, go ahead. Uh, bathroom, toilet, shower, mirror, shower. shower, mirror, bath, wash bath, wash bath. Base. Basin. Was basin. Bite. Bidet. Bidet. Okay. Rina, I saw that you raised your hand. Bathroom. Toilet. Shower. Made up. Bidet. Wash basin. Uh huh. In the bath. Thank you very much. Uh, I also saw that someone else raised their hand. Marvin, I saw that you raised your hand. Would you like to participate? Bathroom, toilet, bedded, wash basin, showers, mirrored bath. Thank you very much. Now that we, that we have that, now let's move on to another part of the bathroom. Because in the bathroom, we can also have another things like rug, we can have soap, soap. We can also have a bin, toilet paper, shampoo, and we can also have shower gel. So rug, soap, bin, toilet paper, shampoo, and shower gel. Someone would like to help me with that? Okay, so in that case, I will choose uh, Julia Yesenia. 
Yes, teacher. Go ahead, Julia, make the pronunciation of them, please. Rock, bank, shampoo, soap, toilet paper, shower head. Okay. Let's see, uh, Marce Hernandez. Uh, Ground, soap, 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 bag, bin, bin, mm -hmm. toilet paper, toilet paper, shampoo, shower gel. Okay. So, did I tell you, uh, let's mention la vez anterior que cuando tenemos una SH in English, when we have an SH, hacemos el sonido de shh, como cuando alguien arrea pollos, ¿verdad? Like, like at home, like shh. So, we say shampoo and shower. The pronunciation, uh, Carla, between uh, sopa, and uh, jabón, this one we say soap, and this one we say soup. Soap, soup. Soap, soup. That's the difference. Soap, jabón, and soup, la soap. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's pretty much it. All right. So let, let's move on right now to the next part. And still in the bathroom, Still there, we have the hair brush, we have the toothbrush, we have the comb, and we have the toothpaste. Hair brush, toothbrush, comb, and toothpaste. So now let's move on in the hall. We can have a mirror, clothes stand, and umbrella stand. So uh, I forgot to ask you, is there any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? So far, so good. Estamos bien hasta el momento? Or any question that you might have? Clear, teacher. I'm sorry? Clear. Oh, okay. Perfect. So now in the garage, Garage, we can have, uh, normally, we just have a car, bike, or any other type of uh, mean of transportation. But some people, they can have a washing machine in the garage. But some other people have the washing machine in the bathroom. So that will be different, right? In some houses, you can find the washing machine in the bathroom. In some other houses, you can find the washing machine and the garage, okay? So that will depend on the family. So uh, let's move on to this part. And we have here the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have the fridge. Fridge, that is uh, the contraction of saying refrigerator. A refrigerator El refrigerador, that's the long word, la palabra larga. But if you want to say, like, como decimos en español, la refri, we just say fridge. Fridge, a toaster, a freezer, and a sink. A sink es lo que generalmente se tiene en la cocina para lavar los trastes, to wash the dishes, and to wash your hands, too, okay? So we have fridge. Toaster, freezer, and sink. Let me see. Uh, uh, can I have two or three volunteers? Let's go, Jose Alberto. Fridge, freezer, toaster, sink. Very good. Now it is. Kitchen, fridge, toaster, fridge, fridge, fridge. fridge. toaster, sink, freezer. 
freezer. Okay, now Sophia. Fridge, freezer, sink, and toaster. Toaster, thank you very much. Saul? Fridge, freezer, toaster, sink. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's move on to, to, this, to this part, which is the kitchen. In the kitchen, we can have a cooker. We can call it cooker. Uh, a most of the people, la mayoría de personas se equivocan cuando le decimos kitchen, le llamamos a la cocina, pero cuando decimos kitchen, nos referimos al espacio, la cocina como tal, el espacio. So, si usted se refiere a la cocina donde usted cocina, valga la redundancia, no le llamamos kitchen, sino que le llamamos cooker, ok? That's the cooker. So let's... Y yes. stove. Stove. El stove es, eh, si es como una cocina, pero a eso le llamamos a las cocinas de horno, como esta que tenemos acá, like in the image. That's the stove. Como que, que eh, tienes la cocina y al mismo tiempo el horno. So we have a cooker, cup board, dishwasher, microwave, and oven. Okay, cooker, cup board, dishwasher, and microwave. So uh, with these words, I think that it's pretty clear, right? Sí, las imágenes nos ayudan a entender más o menos a qué nos referimos. So it's not necessary for me to, uh, to try to explain you what's the meaning of each one of them. So I think that is pretty clear. So in the kitchen, we can have a spoon, fork, knife, glass, and this one we could call a dish or plate. Al plato le podemos llamar dish or plate. Oven and microwave. Okay, Vanessa, the difference, la diferencia entre oven and microwave, oven es el horno, literalmente solo el horno, oven. And microwave es un microondas, where you put, donde pones solo, okay? Uh, if you want, if something is cold, si algo está frío, you just put it in a microwave and it gets warm, se vuelve cálido or hot. So that's the difference between oven and microwave. So uh, I will repeat this once again. Spoon, fork, knife, glass, dish, or plate, okay? We have the garden. Now, I want you to, be, to know the difference here. Quiero que prestemos mucha atención a esta pronunciación acá. Muchas veces cuando ustedes están diciendo tres, la mayoría de personas tienden a decir three. But in English, pero en inglés, si usted me dice three, usted está diciendo árbol y no está diciendo tres. So, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre pronunciar tres y pronunciar árbol? It's very easy, es muy fácil. Si usted quiere decir tres, esta TH tiene que sonar Z de nuestro español. So we say three, y árbol usted dice tree. Three, tree, three, tree. Si ¿Sí pueden escuchar la diferencia, can you listen to the difference in pronunciation? Yes. Yes? Yes. It's clear. Yes. Okay, now, vamos a ver si es cierto. Jose Alberto, can you make the pronunciation de tres y árbol? So I just want to listen. Three, three, es tres, three, árbol. Okay, that was good. Zulma, let me listen to you. Three, es tres. Es no, three. no. No, lo, lo que dijiste, lo que tú acabas de decir ahorita, entendí árbol, no tres. Oh, sí. Uh -huh. Three. 
Okay, that was that was that was it for Carla. Can you do the same? Uh, Arbol three. E tres three. Excellent. That was a good pronunciation. Sophia, can you do the same thing? Sophia. Arbol three. Arbol three. And number tres three. That was that was good. Saul, can you do the same thing? Arbol three, tres, three. Three, con la Z, con el sonido de la Z, okay? Three. Yeah, like that. So it's very important, es muy importante que aprendamos a hacer la diferencia entre esas dos palabras. ¿Por qué? Muchas veces usted puede pensar, you can think, puede pensar que está diciendo, oh, one, two, three. Pero en realidad lo que se le entiende es uno, dos, árbol. So you don't want to say that, okay? So let's pay attention to the pronunciation of that so we don't make any mistakes in the future, okay? So we say tree, tree, que es el árbol. We say plant, flowers, and flower pot que es un, eh, una canastita de flores, para flores, flower, flower pot, and patio, patio or patio, that's going to be el patio, right? So that's pretty much the same thing. So these activities, guys, we were going to practice them, la íbamos a hacer in the breakout room, but because of the time, por el tiempo que no tenemos, so we are just going to do this activity. So uh, I want you to create, este es lo último que vamos a hacer and we're going to finish with that. Necesito que todos create two sentences, crear dos oraciones, utilizando el vocabulario que acabamos de aprender, okay? So take, uh, pueden tomarse un minuto, dos minutos para pensar and then what you're going to do, escribirlas en el chat, okay? Dos oraciones por cada persona utilizando el vocabulario que acabamos de ver. Okay? So let's go. You have uh, two minutes or three minutes. Dos minutos o tres minutos para pensar about your sentences. Okay? So let's go. Remember that when you finish, cuando ya las tenga, las escriben en el chat. So I can check that, okay? Also, if you have any questions, tienen alguna pregunta en cómo decir algo, or vocabulary, or you don't know how to say something, ask me. Pregunten so I can help you, okay? Thank you very much, Saul. I can see that you wrote the first one, Jose Alberto. Okay, you already go wrote one example too. Thank you very much. Vanessa. Vanessa, what are you trying to say? ¿Qué estás tratando de decir con esa oración? What are you trying to say? 
Vanessa Gabriela. Ok, Carla. Perdón, teacher, se me fue. Vale, 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 vale. Ah, ok. Carla Romero, I can see the two examples. Thank you, everybody's mind. Ok, that's good. Rosa Melida. Ok, I can see your examples. Zulma, too. Rosa Melida, I can see your second example. Griselda, Rina Margarita, Denise. Marce, Iris Iber, ok, Griselda, Another for Rina, Marvin, ok, ok, Jocelyn, that's a good example, you take a oven. Saúl, what are you trying to say with, the, with that? ¿Qué estás tratando de decir con esa? He take a oven. What do you want to say? Oh, he have an oven. Okay, that's different. Okay. Sorry, okay, no problem. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay. Sophia, I can see your example, Sue. Hot Lori. Okay. Okay. I want you to have examples of your own. Que sean ejemplos suyos, ¿verdad? Cuidado con estar siguiendo al inter, uh, to the internet, okay? No Google, okay? Just try to make the examples on your own. Rina Margarita, okay. My umbrella is red, okay. My brother loved the flower of the garden. Julia Yesenia, that's good too. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for all the ones that participated on that and try to do that. Now, I will just would like to have Sofia and Carla. Can you read your examples, please? And we're going to finish with that. Uh, my example? Yes. Um, the, the big bed is, is mine. Uh -huh. I have two cars in my garage. Okay, thank you very much. Sophia? Sophia, hello. Sorry, uh, repeat me. <laughs> can, you re can you say your examples? Sofía, are you there? Se me apagó el micro. De quiero ver, puse the number one, the restaurant, no, the new restaurant has a different. Mm, sorry, lo escribí. Con, con, contrary, contrary. Cutlery. Yeah, okay. cutlery. Uh -huh. And the second sentence, um, my brother has a big house and has a, I don't remember. <laughs> um, has four bathrooms. Four bathrooms. Okay, now and we're going to finish with uh, the example of Jose Alberto, okay? Read one of your examples and we'll finish with that, okay? Um, solo escribí directamente al chat, pero la primera, my house house, has, 
two windows in my, uh, my house. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. My it, house is a. Uh, no recuerdo que. Pero creo que era. Lo voy a buscar mejor. No, it's fine. It's fine. With, uh, it's a balcony. It's, it's the balcony. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, guys. So uh, before we go, do you have any question regarding to anything? Uh, I just want to remind you to keep working on the platform. Remember that you have to keep working on that. If you have any question regarding to any of the exercises of the platform, feel free to ask through the WhatsApp group if you have any question or something so I can help you there, okay? So uh, have you had any situation? Alguien ha tenido algún problema or situation with the platform, no? Are we okay with the platform? Todos tienen acceso, todos ya trabajaron en la plataforma. Yes? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Yes. Sure. No problem. So I will be checking your yes, progress. Teacher. Vamos a estar verificando su progreso cada viernes de cada semana, okay? So please keep working on that. If you have questions, si hay preguntas o algo, let me know through the WhatsApp group so I can help. Vamos a trabajar en the unit three and four. Uh, for the moment, it will be just, just unit three and half, la, la unidad tres y la mitad de la cuatro, okay? Okay, thank you. Perfect. So if there's no more question, guys, that's going to be all for today. Disculpe, tenemos examen esta semana. No, not on this week. Not, not, not on this week. But we are going to have an exam probably next week, probably. Okay, so be ready for that. So uh, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for coming today and I hope you have a good night and see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? Have a good, good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye, see you.